Hey there makers, welcome back to the workbench. I know it's been a few months since I've posted my last video, but I've been working on some projects, some belts that I've been making, and I thought I would take some time and show you guys how I set my snaps on the end of my belts. I'll go over what snaps I use, what tools I use, and the steps I put into it. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, and ring that bell for future notifications. Okay, for the tools that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a number one CS Osborne hole punch, which is a 332nd, and then a number five CS Osborne punch, which is an 1164. To set the snaps, I'm using the snap setters that I got from Ohio Travel Bag that work well with their snaps. So the snaps I use come from Ohio Travel Bag. I have the 21154 button in brown for the cap. I have the 22201 socket. They come in brass. Then the 22413. It's the capped eyelet. And the last one is 22321. It's the stud and it comes in brass. I found that the snaps from Ohio Travel Bag work the best to get the greatest results. Okay, to start out, the first step in the process, we're going to Mark our holes. And this is a new project that I'm working on. Be sure to subscribe. Hopefully I'll be talking about these in future videos. So I've got the holes set. We're going to use the posts on this end. And we're gonna set the caps on that end. So I'm gonna take my number one punch and punch these two holes. And then I'm gonna use my number five to punch these two holes. So here we go, we got our holes punched. I'm not gonna punch the one inch bag punch for the buckle right now. But I'm gonna show you how I set these snaps. So I do them right there on my granite. So I'm gonna set my two studs in the holes. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna set the caps right on there. I'm gonna take the setter from Ohio Travel Bag and just a cobbler's hammer. I'm gonna set that right on there. Over time, you kind of get used to how much pressure, but you can kind of see that I leave a little indention, and that's how I know that they're set. Now, here's the key to setting the sockets. So I go ahead and put my socket right on the cap. And then I fold over So 
I fold over my belt loop just like that. And we're gonna take a cap and set it right on top of that socket. Then we're gonna take our other setter and you can kind of feel around and know when it's setting right on that cap. I'm gonna set that right on there. and then repeat it for this other side. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you'll stick around and watch some of my other videos and remember to subscribe so you can catch my future leatherworking videos. Thank you.